Hey everybody, so I wanted to uh, do my week two recap of the uh, Ultimate Reset. Um, sorry, my cat is climbing on my desk, so if he knocks over the camera, my apologies. Um, oh, let me see if I can drag him down and have him sit in my lap. Um, this is Madness. Say hi, Madness. Look at you. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Anyways, that's not part of my week two cleanse. This, this cat is a forever, every day kind of thing. Um, so, week two is uh, technically called detox. And the whole point of it is to help release a lot of crap out of your system, um, help you literally detox, which means um, that might manifest itself in a whole lot of ways, you know, whether it's expelling a whole lot of crap when you go to the bathroom or um, breaking out or um, ups and downs with your emotions. There's a lot of different ways it can come through. Um, overall, I think I had a pretty easy week with it, which is really nice. Um, you know, definitely went to the bathroom pretty productively, which is awesome because that's, you know, you could, on a cleanse, I mean, you ideally, you want to find a good balance of going to the bathroom productively without, um, running around having to wear a diaper because you're just runny. Um, so the, this cleanse does a nice job of using, um, basically uses aloe and turmeric and, um, and chia and flax and a few other things to help you very naturally go to the bathroom and just be very productive about it um, and really in conjunction with week one the whole point is to help your system help your body learn to absorb as much out of the food that you eat as far as nutrition goes um, and expel whatever it doesn't need you know clear out the crap out of your body um, things that maybe have been sitting around for a while whether it's just from poor food or stress or um, you know, eating things that you might react to that you don't even realize you're reacting to. Uh, for instance, things like dairy or meat that maybe um, work your system really, really hard and your system never has a chance to recover. A lot of what happens in week two is releasing all of that and, um, you know, helping basically your liver and your kidneys do their job correctly. Um, so overall, I felt like it was a pretty good experience without being intense, without, um, you know, there's always a concern with a cleanse that you're like, do I need to hang out next to a bathroom all day long? Um, and there really wasn't anything like that. Um, you're basically pretty regular uh, without any um, intense effects, but you do feel that it's working and that you feel that your body's a little bit more efficient at expelling what it needs to expel. Um, and if you caught any of my videos earlier in the week, you know that I was breaking out a little bit, definitely dealing with that, which again, I was kind of expecting um, because my skin is sensitive like that. And you know, one of the things they warn you about is that you might break out. Sorry, I keep scratching my face, but I'm getting cat hair all over my face in this guy. Um, but you, you know, you, you can kind of expect that you might break out and things like that. And I definitely was, but I have to say by the end of the week, my skin has been feeling awesome. It's probably the best it's ever looked, which is uh, an incredible feeling to say after having struggled with really bad acne for a very, very long time. Um, so that's been a nice side effect. Now I've been eating ton of fruit every single day. Um, oh, thanks for the hearts. <laughs> of course, Foxy's waiting right outside. She wants to make a cameo. Um, this is cat time only. Uh, sorry, Foxy's one of our dogs. Um, hi, thanks for joining. Um, but yeah, so um, overall, the detox part hasn't been that bad. Um, you do take an extra supplement, which helps you detox. And I have to say, I actually really liked it. It's really gritty um, because there's things like chia seeds in it and flax, which just doesn't dissolve very well, but actually tastes really good. And now if you've watched any of my other videos, you might know that I have a hard time swallowing pills. Anything that's like not like minuscule is really hard for me to swallow. And the pills in this program are actually pretty good size. And um, what I usually do is dump them in water, you know, bare minimum, uh, swirl it around and just drink it down. And this detox supplement actually made it taste really good. So it made it much, much easier to take all my supplements and take them as fully as I'm supposed to. Um, which you can imagine, the more fully you commit to the program and you can take all the supplements, the more they're actually going to do for your body. So, otherwise, um, definitely felt a bit more fatigued this week. Um, felt a little bit more tired every night. Um, you know, it's tough when so many things can contribute to you being tired, but um, there was definitely a few nights, like Friday, I was definitely feeling really exhausted by like 8 or 9 p.m. Because um, I'm an old lady, maybe, but um, it was definitely feeling tired. There's a few instances where I was getting cramps along my um, my rib cage, and usually when I get that is when I'm like if I'm gonna exercise and I just ate 
or you know if I walk rapidly or like basically if you go swimming right after eating it's that kind of feeling and it um you know it, it would just kind of happen throughout the day and you kind of just have to breathe through it and, and deal with it um, I did do yoga a few times uh, this week, including today. Um, there's a special series of yoga that's um, made for this reset, which is pretty cool. Um, it's all about, again, releasing tension, helping your body stretch out, um, helping you breathe really well. So I have to say, overall, week two wasn't bad. I was a little worried about how it would go um, w with the cleanse and all aspect of it, but, you know... Everything seemed to go pretty smoothly, and it, there wasn't anything painful about it. There wasn't anything too uncomfortable about it. Um, the food was still awesome. We had what did we have. We had hearty miso soup, which was really, good, really good. We had sweet potato and red pepper um, bisque, which was really, really good. Um, garlic veggies, which were good. Like lots of really, really good meals. Um, some of them take longer than I hoped, but partly, you know, it was my first time making a lot of them, so I just thought they would take less time and they didn't um but they're definitely meals i'm gonna be coming back to uh, there's a lot in this recipe book that i it's almost a shame how much i won't get to in this program but there's no reason i can't have the recipes well after i finish the program because it's basically a cookbook and um yeah no it's been good um a few updates um i've lost about six pounds in total now um i did do this program in hopes that I would lose some of the weight because I know that I had gained some and it was not happy weight. It was coming from um, from stress and just poor eating habits. So I definitely know it wasn't where my body wanted to be. Um, so it's kind of cool seeing seeing the weight still move. Um, I had heard, um, so there's really great Facebook support groups for
it hasn't been that hard. Um, it, my cravings are gone. I'm not dependent on coffee. Um, and I'm losing the weight that I gained through crappy happenings in my life. So all good things all around. And it really hasn't been that much of an interruption in my life. So that's cool too. So yeah, if you have any questions, if you want to know any other details, you want to know recipes or anything like that, please hit me up, send me a DM or um, get me on my Facebook. Um, it's facebook.com slash Team Ted Fitness. Um, I love talking about this stuff. I love talking about anything else. So if there's anything else I can help you out with in your own health and fitness, by all means, shoot me a message. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great night. And if you're watching Game of Thrones, oh, man, the show gets me. All right, all right.